is bad. Hit it. Ha. Sand Hit it. and. Ha. Oh God. Ha. What's Hit up it. with you? Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Interested in promoting your brand, business, or talent on Hip Hop News Uncensored? Hit me up right now at advertise at hiphopun.com. That's advertise at hiphopun.com. Hit me ASAP. Very affordable rates. Now to our regularly scheduled program list. All right, man, Dave Chappelle finds himself in a whirlwind of controversy once again with major organizations calling for him to be canceled and a special to be taken off of Netflix. Now, I'm actually going to play what David said in a few seconds, but I just want to kind of get into some of the backstory and kind of get you guys up to speed on what's going on with dave chappelle now on tuesday october the 5th netflix premiered chappelle's latest comedy special the closer which contained commentary directed at the babies what they call homophobic rant at rolling loud in miami it also included issues regarding the transgender community such as uh caitlin jenner and trans women's bodies now i'm gonna read what he said and later on i'll probably get to the audio you know if it's not too vulgar and i'll play it if not just bear with me because i'm going to quote him barbatum right before i get to this man go ahead and smash that like button and make sure you share this video it's going to get hot all right now dave Chappelle went on to say gender is a fact every human being in this room every human being on earth had to pass through the legs of a woman to be here on earth now that's a fact now as for the baby you know, he said he found it, you know, incredulous that people would be more upset about a rapper's remark about gay men than they would be about him killing a 19 year old man in North Carolina, Walmart back in 2018. Now, if you guys don't remember the baby, you know, he was in a Walmart. Um, I think it's actually on video, too. Um, altercation went down when a young man came up to him, whatever. And um, I guess try to pull a gun out, whatever the situation may be. The baby shot him, killed him right there on the spot. And um, the baby was actually cleared because investigators determined that it was self-defense. Like I said, it was on camera. Now, when the closer debuted in the top 10, his critics came out in droves to express their disdain for Chappelle's comments at humor. Now, trans activist Taylor Ansbrook, who's based in Ohio, where Chappelle currently calls home, tweeted, As a trans woman, I have usually defended Dave. Chappelle special because I think it's hilarious and his jokes about trans women never felt intentionally malicious. The closer changed my mind on that. That felt that special felt so lazy and disingenuous and I am really disappointed. Now there were a whole bunch of other people that came out, you know, who, you know, went in on Dave Chappelle, you know, um organizations and everything calling for Dave, calling for Dave to actually be canceled. Now they're actually petitioning Netflix to actually pull his special from, you know, uh, um Netflix. Now, pressure is also mounting by one of the biggest black organizations, the National Black Justice Coalition, the NBJC, is one of several high profile organizations asking Netflix to pull Dave Chappelle special and it says it is deeply disappointing that Netflix allowed Dave Chappelle's lazy and hostile transphobia and homophobia to air on his platform. This is by way of um, David Johns, who was NBJC's executive. He said with 2021 on track to be the deadliest year on record for transgender people in the United States, the majority of whom are black transgender people, Netflix should know better. Perpetuating transphobia perpetuates violence. Netflix should immediately pull the closer from its platform and directly apologize to the transgender community. All right, so let's just unpack this thing one by one. Let's start off with the baby situation. And um, I agree with Dave Chappelle on this particular fact that, you know, we can have all these rappers who talk about killing other black people wholesale, robbing other black people, stunting other black people wholesale, but nobody's ever really outraged by that. Now, it used to be where people were outraged, and I'm not going to say nobody is, but the masses 
or not there's not like people coming out like back in the day you had a uh, uh, C. Dolores Tucker and all these different people, politicians and stuff, you know, rolling over CDs, you know, with steamrollers talking about how much they hated hip hop and the fact that it tore down the race. You don't see that no more. You don't see the, the coalitions and things like that really talking down about hip hop. It's almost kind of been accepted that we kind of talk down about each other and almost given an excuse that, okay, well, it's art imitating life or light Im imitating art. These are how our communities are, so it's okay, which I totally, totally disagree with that particular notion i think that it should be outrage should be sparked if we're talking about harming transgender people gays blacks whites anybody i don't support none of it I'm, I'm about the human race being able to live in harmony without anybody oppressing or suppressing the next group let's let's keep that a hundred from the jump that's how I've always been that's how I've always will be now you gotta really go listen because me talking about what dave said is not going to give it justice because he said a little more to the end of that you gotta really go listen to the special you know there's clips going all the way you know um on instagram uh twitter and if you're checking this video out guys go into the description box of this video and um at the top line i'll leave the article where we'll link the video of exactly what dave says you guys can get a full context of what he was saying now it offended it offended transgender people but let's just let's break it down what he said because what he said is a hundred percent fact from what from my knowledge from what i've seen from what i observe according to science the only way the only way you know people are born on earth you know, or through the legs of a woman, a real woman, you know. Um, now, people change their sex all the time. That's their prerogative. If they want to be called a woman, okay, that's what you want to be called. But at the end of the day, when you're talking about birthing, it takes a man and a woman to ha to give to, to make a child, and it has to come out of the womb of a woman. Now, I can see, you know, how... You know, this probably could offend people who don't want to be associated with either man or woman. But then I could kind of see, I don't know why, because it's a fact. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Now, I don't have a problem with people wanting to change their gender. That's your prerogative. It's really something new to me, you know, being 36 years old. It's a new it's a new phenomenon to me. You know what I mean? To say, oh, this person changed from this to this. Okay, cool. That's your thing. Do you. I'm not going to hate on you. I'm not going to, you know, encourage any violence against you. I don't believe in none of that. I think you should be able to go live peacefully just like anybody, any race, any color, any creed, you know, sex should be able to live, you know, and not be oppressed and suppressed. So I think it's just a little, a little, a little. And then he talked about um, Caitlyn Jenner and he made a joke about how, you know, her first year, his, her first year becoming a woman and proclaiming herself to be a woman she got woman of the year and he kind of talked about all these great women out there that they, they surpassed you know um and gave her woman of the year even though that she or he you know switched um their or her his gender from a man to a woman i can see what he's saying with that you know what i mean at the end of the day you know what i mean then he made the joke like all right i, I, I that's just like them giving eminem you know n word of the year it's, it's comedy. It's comedy. This is what comedy is about. Comedy is supposed to be to have some truth in it, and it's supposed to have some satire, and it's supposed to be like, oh yeah, that's just funny, dude. But it's funny, but it's real. It's funny, but it's real. And I think that's the problem here, is that sometimes, for whatever reason, people don't want to hear the truth, and that's all I think. Uh, I don't support him being canceled. For this, um, they already tried to get him to make an apology. I don't think Dave will do it. You know, Dave really stands on his morals. But I always, I always say this. You know, I could say something to somebody and, and it didn't mean to be offensive to them. One thing, okay, and they take it offensive. Okay, cool. Then I, I could come back and I could apologize. Say, look, I didn't mean it that way. I didn't mean to be offense to say something that was going to offend you. That's a hundred percent cool. You know what I mean? I could say, look, man. You got a boogie in your nose. Or look, man, you're fat. Look, man, you're skinny. You say, yo, dog, that really offended me. I'm like, you know what? My bad. I don't have a problem with that. But as far as the truth, the truth is going to stand no matter how emotional, no matter how many and how people get in their feelings or anything like that. So that's my opinion on it. 
You know, man, I'm for, you know, people to live peacefully regardless of the decisions that they make. Now, as far as the violence, I, I had no idea that transgender people were being killed and all of that. And I, I definitely, definitely do not do not support that. Never did. You'll never find a video with me saying anything like that. Just like I don't support black people being killed, white people, Hispanic, East Indians, anybody. I don't support that, you know, killing for any reason you know what i mean um so that kind of is what it is i'm gonna digress man leave a comment below what do you guys think about this do you think people are going too far asking for dave Chappelle to be canceled how do you feel about his comments uh, i don't know man but go to hiphopun.com like i said i'll leave the link at the top line of the description box you guys can go check out you know what dave said i'll, I'll post that video up and it'll be an article accompanying that at hiphopun.com that way you can get the full context because you gotta watch the video and, um, you know, go from there. But, yeah, man, I appreciate you guys, you know, listening in as long as you did. Go ahead and smash that like button. Make sure you share the video and leave them comments, man. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to Hip Hop News Uncensored for more exclusives. Just like this one. Always real, always raw, always uncensored. It's your boy, Oh God, man. Over and out. Peace.